Hey guys, welcome to my bit of a disaster of a kitchen. Today I wanted to try something new. I have here my palm sander and I am going to use it to wet felt. Never done this before, but I hear it works quite well. We're working in the kitchen so I can use my ground fault integrated circuits as I will be dealing with electricity and water. So for my protection, I am up here where all my plugins are ground fault. Um, that means they'll trip here if there's any kind of problems. So I am going to lay out my bubble wrap. I have some fibers here and an idea of what I want to do. Now I am going to, um, lay out my fiber and then we will attempt to wet felt from there so i'm going to put you on time lapse because i'm going to be listening to podcasts while i work i'm going to do three layers i believe this is not for a garment or anything so it doesn't have to be a heavy felt i want to make it for a nice like wall hanging so i'll probably just maybe even just two layers but I'm going to lay out my faba and then when I've got that part ready, I will come back and we will get started with the sander and see how that works. I'm pretty excited. All right, I'll just reposition you. All right, so I've got my fiber laid out the way I wanted. I've wet it with soapy water. Now I did soak up most of the water because I don't want it squirting all over the place, but I've got towels to clean it up. Now I'm going to cover it with some bubble wrap, but for extra agitation, I'm gonna put another bamboo mat over it. And then I'm just going to put this over the bamboo mat to protect the sander. All right, now here comes the fun part. What we need to do, according to what I read, is take our sander, our palm sander, and just let it sit on there for a little bit. Move it over, let it sit for a minute. Move it over, let it sit for a minute. Move it over, let it sit for a minute. Now, I think this is actually a round sander, so it may not work. This spins, I think, instead of just vibrates. Let's find out. Hold on, I'll plug it in. It does spin. Damn it! I'm gonna try it anyways. Because you know, I'm me. Now maybe. Okay. I've got it turned down all the way. Let's just give this a shot and see what happens. Okay, so it is pulling on the plastic. Let's try taking that out of the way. Okay, 
Okay, that seems to be working okay. The plastic gets pulled in, but the bamboo doesn't. All right. I'm going to keep working this piece. I will put you on time lapse again, and we will see where we end up. Now, it is 10.13 right now, just to keep an idea of how long I go at this. So, let's get to it. All right, so that took about 20 minutes with pauses for chats with online and stuff. And here we have, it's pretty well felted. Once I figured out uh, how to work with my sander, so basically just have some of this under it and just work it around. Once it started felting a bit, I was able to crank up the sander and uh, go harder at it. All right, now I'm going to get this in the sink and we're going to felt it some more. So we'll go with hot water, then to cold water, then to hot water, then to cold water. Beat the tar out of it a little bit. And uh, finish felting this up. I have to say though, I am pretty happy with the sander. So I will be back when I have it all washed up. I'm gonna give it a vinegar bath at the end too because of all the soap in it. I wanna return the pH to the uh, felt. Now I did do this layout for a reason. So over the course of the next few days, I'm going to be working on a piece. I did end up getting it folded over a little bit there, but that's all right. I'll fix it. Um, this is going to be my uh, base for a needle felted art project. So I'm going to, oh, I got some sparkles in there. I'm going to finish felting this up and then I'll be back to wrap up this video and we'll discuss the next one. See you in a bit. All right, so here's the finished felt. You can see it got a bit thin in places, but that's okay, because I will be needle felting over it. And without the backlight, you can see it is solid fabric. There's not actually holes there. Overall, I really enjoyed using a sander on there. Once I figured out how to use my particular hand sander, it made it so much faster and I actually really like it. Oh, there's a little bit of veggie matter. So I'm going to lay this out to dry and then when it is a little dry, actually it's not very wet right now anyways, but I'm going to let this dry and when it's dry, I am going to start needle felting my artwork onto it. Well, I'll show you where I'm getting my inspiration from, but that'll be in the next video. So that's it for today. Um, wet felting with a hand sander, 10 out of 10 would recommend. If you like this, do the stuff down below because I do stuff like this all the time and I'll see you next time guys. Oops. Bye.